found only in southern Africa, brown hyenas now number fewer than 8,000 in the wild. Outside national parks and other protected areas, brown hyenas are persecuted as threats to domestic livestock. Their future as a species could be at risk. We're trying to find out where they are, where they're being persecuted. In South Africa's Mankwe Game Reserve, wildlife researcher Dawn Scott studies how brown hyenas are surviving both inside the reserve and outside in surrounding ranch lands. The purpose of the project is to try and estimate the densities of browns inside and outside to see how important the populations are inside and outside, uh, look at what proportion is there, and then also um, if they're being threatened and how they're being threatened. This year, Scott's research was assisted by the Nissan World Wildlife Fund Environmental Leadership Program, 15 American college students helping her gather and analyze data in the field. It was really cool to, to be involved in sort of the research methods to keep track of these animals and to understand their ecology and in order to conserve them. So the whole experience of being outdoors and being more in touch with nature really motivated me to pursue a career in helping preserve wildlife and the environment in general. Coming from states where Nissan has assembly plants, the students were selected in a competition to find promising environmental leaders. Each won a cash award and a trip to South Africa to work as a researcher on this brown hyena project. It was amazing because we found the den, we found the tracks of the, the little cubs, and it was just really cool to be like in an actual site where a live hyena is living. It's often tedious and tiring work collecting data on a nocturnal animal that's seldom seen. The students contribute their labor and enthusiasm, developing skills and knowledge acquired only through field research like this. We get an amazing depth working on this research project getting involved hands-on with the researcher and helping them with their methods. And they know all their work produces valuable information that is crucial for this research project. We've got standard techniques and all the data we're collecting is being used um, for research for, for publication purposes. Understanding how these animals survive and what they need for continued survival will help scientists protect the brown hyena as a key wildlife species in the few remaining areas where they're still found. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.